Welcome to my weekly roundup of what I've been up to in Hackney and Westminster. This week, the Chancellor of the Exchequer published his autumn statement. This does very little to help the one in two children in Hackney living in poverty, and though he made great play of cutting national insurance by 2%, this does nothing to fill the gap left by 13 years of this government, which has increased tax thresholds and means that households are paying more tax than they have for decades. There's also very little support on the housing front, although the local housing allowance has been increased, which I welcome, it doesn't work unless you've got enough private rented housing at the right levels for people to actually move into and in Hackney, there is just not enough of that. Um, we also didn't see really any support for local government, which is already squeezed till the pips squeaking with swinging cuts still predicted uh, down the line. So frankly, this does very little to help Hackney. We need a new government and we need a general election. The Public Accounts Committee has also been busy this week. We published our report on school buildings, highlighting the 700,000 pupils in buildings that are not fit for purpose. And we also quizzed officials at the Home Office and the Department for Leveling Up Housing in Communities about how well the Homes for Ukraine scheme has worked and what lessons they've learnt. And our report on that will be published in the new year.